Oh, there's a companion mod that does that? Oh, that's impressive. I didn't know that. I should look into that. A VIP currently being held by Advent in this region. We're moving in to neutralize any alien forces protecting the transport vehicle. Lock down the AO and secure the target package. Operation Iron Slayer. Operation Iron Man Slayer. I think the assassin's code name is Iron Slayer. Menace one five. We have a confirmed location Resistance for the VIP. Operative. Move to rendezvous. Eliminate all hostile contacts. That happens pretty often. I just wish the resistance up to use my uniform mode. Actually, it's good that they don't. They shouldn't look like operators. Entering squad concealment. I prefer their resistance fighter cosplay. Last up was Lone Rose. Ah, that's what I should that's the nickname I should have given to Saragama. Lone Rose. Nah, Boo's cuter. It's an interesting map type here. It's a uh, road running between two buildings. No brainer that we want to take the left building because it's closer to evac. This is very similar. I mean, very similar missions. They're very similar missions. The big difference here is it's in a vehicle instead of a building, so it'll be harder to stealth. Uh, there's probably going to be bodyguards on it because it's vehicle. Um, so we're going to have to fight our way through it. Uh, and we don't want to kill the VIP at a, as a last resort. And we, we have to walk them out, so... Definitely a harder mission, off the bat. I think, again... What we want to do is... I mean, there's heavy cover here again. You know, again, we want to get out to this side. Base of fire, cover the extraction, moving back. Rockets are going off, guns are going off, snipers are going off. Two or three turns of combat out of the van, out of the van and we leave. I think once again, that is what we want here. Where is Wilson? I should have put like a... Oh, I'm such a fool! I know what his Wraith suit cosmetic is going to be now if he lives through this. I'm such a fool. Of course, he's, he can keep the pilot helmet, but I'm going to put like a respirator on. So it's like his, his fighter pilot mask on time when he's in the Wraith suit. Of course! Of course! That's what I should have done. Am I going to try Cyoperatives as this mod load out? Yeah, it's building. The Scilab's building. Absolutely. Let's go hard around the left. Let's just hope that the Sector Pod is on the right. I hope the Sector Pod doesn't walk next to the van and kill the VIP. Boy, that would suck. Position confirmed. Have I redone Cyops? Not really. I have a mod on that does it for me. We'll see if it's good or not, won't we? Moving to designated coordinates. I'm looking forward to hitting Sai again. It's gonna be good. Rolling out. Gonna be real good. Get it covered. On the move. Let's go, everyone. I like these resistance operatives showing up really often. That's Already very nice there. and friendly. Dashing. Dashing. Copy that. Location confirmed. Heading out. Move, move, move! Whoa. We've got a hostile squad here. Gotta watch out of these sparks. You really want them at the back of your formation because they are just not stealthy. It's like a number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's like a number, it's like eight or nine tiles of uh, reveal on sparks because they're just not stealthy creatures. Don't worry, Commander. I'll just turn on my stealth field. Advent's just like, what is that giant glowing blue robot? What is that? Oh yeah, by the way, they don't have rockets. You guys are just broken. Oh, you got every ability twice. You're fucking broken, you two. You got two overwatches. Where's Iridar? You're fucking just broken. Any ideas how balanced side? Nope. It's gonna feel it out. Gonna see how it goes in this campaign. 
You saw two rockets? Where? No rockets. No rockets. Wait. One of my rockets here is there two rockets? What the fuck? But you're only being penalized for one. Are you gonna join their cult of rocketing? Well, that doesn't count. You only got one, Mad GI. Don't try to trick me. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Welcome to the cult of rocketry, apparently. Closing on target position now. New. No. Closing on target position new. No. On the move. This is Iridar's fault. Starting rocket-based cults in my Revenger. Affirmative. Location confirmed. I think one thing I'd really like is if you could like get sort of a slight preemptive kind of mission intel sweep. Like a kind of preemptive like enemies are vaguely in these quadrants of the map. And then you pick your LZ. I think that would save a lot of time. Because a lot of time is spent when you need good positioning like this. Going, you know, let's let's move to the right position. Like, I could just have started this mission and saved myself like 20 minutes of movement, right? By just going like, let's just land here. But then, you know, if you land too close to enemies, you don't get concealment or something, right? Like, you gotta balance it out, but... Getting it done. Maybe the aliens get the first turn, not XCOM. So if you land too close to them. But then you, have, then you wouldn't be in cover, though. So I don't know. Maybe XCOM only gets 1 AP on landing. Because otherwise, you want to stop people from doing shit like, Okay, hello. I'm Johnny Bradford and welcome to Jackass. Then you just rappel onto the objective. Maybe if XCOM starts at 1 AP on the, the drop turn. But something like that would be, I think, a more interesting way to play, rather than being like, Okay, I randomly got dropped over here. I want to be here. Okay, I randomly got dropped in a swamp. I want to be up on the cliff. I guess I'll spend 20 seconds do or 20 minutes doing that. It's like, what if you didn't do that? What if you didn't have to? What if we just save that time spending concealment? Yep. That's the thing about balancing stuff like that, strategy-wise and tactics-wise of XCOM 2. It's the big problem of balancing a lot of shit like that. Is that Firebrand is immortal. Is what a lot, a lot of it comes down to. Is there's a lot of shit like, oh, I want to make evacs more interesting, or you know, balance it so if the enemies are getting close to you, you know, you got to pull out and shit like that, or. Already there. You know, model air support of this and that, and you always come back to the problem that is that um, there, there's there's no modeling of like the dropship being an actual entity that is interacted with by Advent, right? So you can't. It's really hard to balance it because they don't get to shoot back at her. Solid copy. God, look out there! Why look out there, Zbait? Double time. You slow motherfucker. Double time. Maybe if you pick your landings on your squad zones are reduced? Nah, because I'm just never going to do it. Affirmative. There's certain trade-offs like that that I would never use as a balancing mechanic because I'm just, I'm just never going to choose that thing then. No need to ask if you know twice. what I mean. Order At that point, I just go, no thanks, I'll take full squad. Ugh. Pick your in a chance injury. I don't think you, you trade off it. I think you balance it. You, you find a way to balance that to be part of the main game. I don't think you make it a trade off. 
I think you gotta be really careful when you're designing shit to do trade-offs like that, where it's like, you, you bring in something cool, but then you're like, but it's better, so I need to make it shitty as well. And it's like, well, now I don't want to use your new cool thing, or even if I do, I'm gonna feel bad using it. It's like, wow, well, it's gotta be balanced. You know, I, I think you can sometimes just introduce new shit and just make the other side stronger in a different way to keep the challenge level around the same. God, this is a big fucking map, isn't it? We'll probably save some time going straight through here, through this building, over the roofs. Dark Flygon says that's basically why no one likes Long War 2's infiltration mechanics, at least before the patches. Right, I mean, I'm not very experienced with those, but sure, that makes sense, what you're saying. Right, the classic balancing strategy of, yeah, this is fun and really awesome, so we have to make it shitty so no one ever wants to use it or they feel shitty about doing it. I, I don't like that. I'd rather just not add that thing at that point so that the player isn't mentally like, Ugh, I hate my life, every time they think about using it. Maybe we'll use the grapple to get some uh, extra fast recon. How about that? I'll take the high road. I heard a snake around here somewhere. Oh, right, you're talking about how longer to infiltration is like, the more shit you take, the harder the mission gets. Yeah, I fucking hated that shit. I would've hated that shit if it was like a, if it was like a binary choice of like, stealthy or loud. I probably still wouldn't have liked it. But I hated that shit, where wasn't it like it was by by degrees? Like you could take as many soldiers as you wanted or something? Like you could go anywhere from like one to eight or something, and the longer you waited, the harder the mission got? What, is, is that how it works? I hate balancing by degrees like that, where you have all these degrees and you go to the player like, Alright, figure it out. And it's like, fuck, is it optimal to go four people, six, eight, two? What, what's the- ah! I don't want to fucking- do that much fucking work. I want the- When I play something, I want the balancing work to be done by the fucking developer, not me. I'm just here to play. Just don't give me so many choices. That are- with the vary so wildly. With that fucking rubber banding difficulty where it's like, Yeah, but if you get stronger, so do they! It's like, well, why the fuck would I get stronger then? Fuck you, like, why bother? But they want to do strategy game more than attack game, so it makes sense, right? I think that's what they're more interested in. Probably still makes sense to go around the left here, I think. Head in there now. That's not fair of you to bring up this is a mod. I mean, so? Same theory. But we don't need to talk about it anymore anyway. Everybody knows I don't like Long War 2. Around the left, we should get there of like what? One, two, three. Like, where's that fucking exosuit? You're the slowest one. Like, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're gonna like turn seven, turn 15, turn 16. By the time I get in the position around here. We've got that to spare. We can, we can spend that. I think we can spend that. Let's just start running, everyone. Double time. Double time. I'm so glad you have scouts even when you don't have reapers now. <laughs> yeah. Someone was saying that it might be smart to Got it. put phantom and shit like that on the spider and wraith suits so that you don't just have to rely on reapers. Let's and as I said this. to them, it's something I'm considering like. It's that thing where right now, with the, with the strategy layer balance the way it is, we need the Reapers as a crutch. I kind of feel like I'd prefer in general to just not have... Getting it done. ...ridiculous scouts like Reapers. With like Phantom and all that shit, but um... That would require an, uh, a bigger overhaul of the strategy layer and, and some of the mission objectives, I think. And how the oh game works. Because right now, by taking Phantom out on everyone on my squad, 
Like, don't be fooled, I haven't really fixed the fact that concealment is broken for scouting. It's just made it so I just treasure my one reaper like a golden goose, basically. It hasn't really accomplished anything brilliant apart from that. Well, Jenna, I've got my eyes on. There's something out there. So probably something in between where I was already thinking probably just make the reapers not have such insane stealth. And then the rave suits and spider suits can be like, you know, kind of like a, like a, like a little bit like a reaper. Okay, come over here. Ruling. But I do think Reapers are way too good at stealth. Okay, let's keep moving. Time to motor. Time to motor. Hi, Chase Powers here. Got it. Moving. Yeet. I'm all over it. Maze, maze, maze. Over here. Let's do this. Because at the end of the day, the big problem is you could do all this concealment and all that shit fine. Moving. But the big problem is concealment is not an interactive game element in XCOM 2. It just isn't. And by that I mean, the aliens are not built to know what the fuck concealment it is, or how to work beat, around it. Beat. They're just not. It's not part of the design of XCOM 2. Concealment is this thing you get at the start, and it's only balanced because it goes away after you start fighting. It gives you an advantage at the start of a fight, but that's it. And obviously the problem with that is... Then you get perks like Phantom and shit and Reapers. And you can really abuse it, because the AI just doesn't understand how to deal with concealment. That's right, line of play is the only way it deals with concealment, but line of play is its own fucking huge problem that I would rather not have. But to me that's the issue, is just concealment is just not like a very well-balanced thing. Like the AI just doesn't understand what's going on with concealment. They just don't know. They can't, like, hear concealed soldiers when they're close. It's not like an actual stealth system. It's just invisibility that toggles on or off. So, so like, I really want to do shit. Like, install the suppressors mod, yeah. Or, like, you know, do all sorts of interesting shit. Like, oh, yeah, you know, if, if, you can't, if you're not seen by enemies for a couple of turns, you go back into concealment. But it's super broken, so I can't. Because concealment just as a state to be in is broken as fuck. It's just invisibility. It's just an invisibility cloak. Moving on target location. And you can introduce, like, you know, certain a alien advents that have huge concealment detection radiuses or something. But then it's still, like, either you put one of those in every single pod and then concealment doesn't exist anymore. Or, like, I mean, how do you... Unless you can, like, figure out a way to make an, AI, an enemy that actually has, like, an AI routine that... Like, I, I just don't see it being very fun interactively either. Then it's just like, well, concealment doesn't exist if this enemy exists. Good news is we've got around pretty well around this side. I'm gonna go upstairs if I can. Let's just go up to here. Confirmed. Oh boy. Of all styles over here. Yeah, long wall one concealment is good where it only works in heavy cover. It's very limited how you use it. It's useful, but if you get flanked, you lose it, and you can get stuck because of that. Yeah, I think Long War 1's concealment is interesting. That is a big boy. Spend a couple of rockets on them. Blow through to the VIP. Where are we gonna fight him from? Probably back here. You wanna like secure this line? Because you need this heavy cover, right? I thought this would be good heavy cover, but these are like... I mean, I don't fucking know. This is full cover, because it's a potted plant with a tree in it. But then, you can't get full cover on this, because it's a tree... ...and a slightly larger potted plant planter. Which makes it worse. Because... I don't know why it makes it worse.
I mean, you got high cover here for the sniper. That's good. Sniper spot right there. Because it's not lined up. That's right. Sir, can I take full cover? No, it's not lined up to the grid. You're not allowed. And you got a position there, position there. Position here. Position, position, position. We got rocket positions here, actually. It's just not as close as I'd like it to be. However, it is much safer to be on this axis, not that axis. Ah, uh, but yeah, then on the other hand, you're too far from evac. You've got to move to these positions. You're too far from evac over here. Unless I spot pods on the left side here, in which case I've got to fight from the right, not the left. That's what I think here. Oh god, the laser fences. Don't step into the laser fences. <laughs> I forgot about the laser fences. On it. On your money, it was a good spot? No, that's half cover too. I think. That should be full cover, actually. You're right. Is it? We'll find out next time, I suppose. Getting it done. Getting it done. Oh, yeah. Running. We want to get that sniper around the side. Affirmative. Does the rave suit negate laser fences? I guess. I didn't notice them when I was in the rave suit, so maybe it does. It's possible. Double time. Will do. God, you guys are so slow. Hurry up. Double time. Y'all slow as balls. Go, go, go. Heading out. I can't see. Okay, they're not moving though. Staying right there. Nope, the monument is inexplicably half cover as well. These city center plots are terrible for cover. Like, you either gotta be on a building, a car, or like a bus stop with these trees. But like, everything else is just like, like this fucking monument, half cover. This, half cover. Everything's just fucking half cover. Windows everywhere, so it's always half cover. It sucks. Yeah, it looks like the rave suit does ignore the laser fences. So there you go. Okay, so let's scout through to here. Uh oh, I hear. <gasps> oh, I'm, I'm fucked. I'm fucked. Oh shit, the rave suit plus the SMG, I think, lowers concealment bofa. That's lucky. I was not expecting enemies there. Wow, I should have moved to this kind of cover, not that kind of cover. Even then, it wouldn't have mattered because it's not full cover. Wow, I didn't realize how much SMGs and rave suits together lowered the concealment detection range. You are like little mini reapers. We do have scouts now, that's good. Okay, I want to see what else is in that pod if it's another sector pod, but it looks like... Yeah, we're going to have to fight from these positions. It's more dangerous because it's going to be harder to get to evac. Does, also doesn't allow me to take the sniper spot up there. So you're going to be looking at, like, sniper setup on that pillar. Um, rockets, 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 you know, just all along here. Um, we're probably going to have to fight through... This is your high cover spot, I guess, if you wanted it, but it's pretty much on the line. Uh, probably just going to have to fight, like, through the building. So I'm probably going to want to, like, open the doors up through here and start moving my shotgunners and shit through the building. And then we're going to be starting off with like two rockets. See, that's interesting too, because you, if there's no windows in here, you can use the building to get really close to the van with the Wraith suit. Well, the Wraith suit can actually just get in because it's fucking stealthy, but... You know, we want Wilson obviously to be picking up the VIP and running. Well, can't pick up, you know what I mean? But yeah, we're probably going to have to start pushing our closer range people through the building. The base of fire staying here on the cover. What's going to be annoying about this, though, is the push to evac. So we probably want to start this fight sooner rather than later, because we're actually going to need quite some turns, I think, to get through this one. Especially because this cover is, as if cover wasn't shitty enough in the city center, this heavy cover could not be used in this direction because of the fucking benches. There really needs to be a mod that's just like, kick this half cover away from the full cover mod. If we kill the VIP and then leave, is it still a loss? Yes, because this is a friendly VIP! <laughs> We like this one. This is a rescue, not an assassination. Don't kill them. Alright, so you need to come back. Confirmed. Moving out. 
two heavy mechs in that pod and a trooper, I think. And yeah, we just gotta start setting up some motherfucking rockets, dude. Youch. Okay, so Caitlin the Man GI, you can bring bring your ass over to here. Got it, moving. Get the door for us, resistance fighter. Moving out. We're going in. What's your name, Resistance Fighter? Conrad Schwartz. Well, may the Schwartz be with you. Might run the shotgunner high, actually, instead. Get the height advantage. You got high cover up there? You got some, yeah. High is probably not a bad idea, actually. Did I just hear a second one? Ooh, shield bearer. Yes, yeah, such a good rocket target right there. <laughs> Who else wants to be on the roof? Not the rocketeers. They don't really want to be. Beat feet. I just blocked a pillar, didn't I? Yeah. Okay, there's another pipe over here. I would say no to the rockets being high. Stepping off. Spark wants to be high, I think, definitely. Spark loves being high. Spark wants to get high as fuck. You can probably do something clever here where you, like, move the Spark through... No, no, you can't do that, never mind. <laughs> Don't do that. Okay, doop. Move order confirmed. Spark loves being high as shit. Bring the Gat laser up. Do we want Great Depression inside? I'm not sure if you'll be able to see from there. It should be okay. Let, let's try it. Moving on target location. Can you see from in there? Nope. I sure can't, Davy. Maybe don't do that. Head into that location. Okay, and Manball, we're going to set you up. Do you have low profile yet? I don't think you do, do you? No, you don't. So, I mean, once, I'm going to bring Doot Doot. Probably just, yeah, set you up on this pillar here, nice and easy. So, you've got good eyes on everyone. That's apparently a better spot for you, so we'll set you up right there. Moving out. Oh shit, they're actually coming. Six pod is on the mission going this time, I will not lose the VIP. Apparently someone did some roof to pod fan art, I gotta check. So I hear. Well, there ain't no cover there, that's a bit dangerous. I mean, what's our game plan? Like, the sector bot is, it's like when I fight a turret, when I face a turret, it's like, fuck, we just gotta kill that before we do anything else. What's the game plan after that, though? I think we're just gonna adapt, improvise, overcome, win. What if the BFG just scatters, like, seven tiles and kills the VIP? Any of these things could happen. Everything by the numbers. That'll be cool. No, it won't! Shut up! Wow, the BFG actually doesn't... No, it does pierce everything. Yeah, it's the, that's Shred. I was going to say, wait, the BFG can't pierce all of the armor. So yeah, we're going to want to spend a couple of rockets. Kill that off. Hopefully get a shield bearer for our, for our trouble. So let's set up all these rockets and get ready for huge fun. And then I think next turn we're going to be going in. Kind of don't want to move up from here right now. I'm just going to stay there. 50 health. Yeah, we gave him... We gave him a little bit of extra health. Yes, we did. Just a tad. 
Just the tiniest bit. I want to move one tower closer so that I can get the sector pod if it doesn't move, which totally could happen. On the move. All right, let's set everyone up. Let's get ready for some big fight. Big fight time. Big shot. Got it covered. Got it. Moving. You get a rocket through there, right? Yeah, easy. Easy. Oh, and yeah, you little little SMG here. Okay, just come through there. We moving up. Come here to the corner cover. Or don't actually, because if you get if it reveals the spark, I want people to at least be in cover. Yeah, maybe don't do that. Maybe just like stay here. Affirmative, moving out. Okay. Come get some. Roger, I've got my eyes on. I'm watching. Next time we're gonna get the party started, I think. On Overwatch. Oh yes, Conrad Schwartz. Hello. Hello. What about Conrad Schwartz, everyone? What will we do with Conrad Schwartz? Why is Conrad Schwartz's detection range so low? I guess it's about the same. No, it's a little better, isn't it? Conrad, why are you so sneaky? What's up with that? AK is an SMG? No, it isn't. That's weird. Oh, well. I guess I'll bring it up to this doorway. And we'll uh, see how we go. Got it. Moving. Nick Conrad says, can you raffle me Conrad so he becomes the Conrad, Conrad the Conrad. I wish these soldiers came back to your barracks sometimes after missions, it'd be awesome, but uh... No, they don't, unfortunately. Yeah, don't move. Okay. I need to go to the bathroom, because shit's about to get real. <laughs> I didn't even mean that. I'm so good at puns. Go back. Okay. Now then, let us begin. For my first act, I will spend Mr. Bob Caparition's rocket. That that's a worrying kind of radius going on there. Like, what's what's the deal with that? It, like, if it if it scatters this way, is it not going to do any damage? Like, do you get what I'm saying? What is that? What is that radius? What is that radius? Is that dead on? If it scatters this way, is it not going to do anything? I have so many questions. I would aim at the troops in the center, but I I need that sector pod to die. I'm pretty sure this would just be a UI bug. It's not just gonna not do damage, so I'll just fire this off first. And we'll go from there. Alright! Fucking rock it out! This one's for you! Really bad! Really 
really bad! Ah, Jesus. Okay. Hello there, Conrad Schwartz. I wonder if it really did bug like the UI said it was going to. Or made me think it might do. Well, yeah, at least it's close now. Maybe I should have shot it first to bring it closer. But I wanted to try and hit the others. Probably the worst rocket we could have got there. Uh, all you can do is try to follow up, right? Firing rocket. I'm gonna have to spend both my rockets now, I think. That's a better rocket. Watch out there, Conrad. Not a lot of damage, though. Yeah, the, it's gonna make the assassin difficult, but I think I need to spend both my rockets here. No shred? It has a slight amount of shred. Uh, Conrad, I think you need to back up. Is it clear? I had a bad feeling that was gonna happen. One, two, three, four, five, six on the right. Now that is gonna be problematic. It is not clear, Conrad. Where is the other rocket, anyway? There it is. Rockets away. Better. Still gotta finish it off. It's gonna make the assassin really difficult. But at least I won't have to fight a sectopod. to get that fucking shit in place. Uh, can I cyclic fire it? I can. How much damage that does is its own question, but yes, I can. Yeah. It's, uh, it's uh, not bad. About eight damage there. It's not terrible. It, we can kill it now. Why dodge? Because of grazing fire, that's why. It's not as crazy as it seems, that's because of grazing fire. I think the Spark's gonna want to start wiping people out on the right side. No, I thought that for a second too, I was about to complain and I remembered, oh yeah, that's, that's why. Let's uh, finish it off the, with Manball, hopefully. Alright. Enemy T-72 is down. I do not want to know what those things do. And if I'm lucky, I never will. I'm going to come over to here. And try to shoot this Lancer. Just kill some targets on the right. Heading to that location. Hello. Oh my god, that body. Yeet. Dab on Lancers. Target disabled. Was one of the goals in this mod set to move away from Alpha Striking? It definitely is, but A, I gotta fight the late game again to remember how to balance it, and B, I haven't really thought much about balancing the late game yet. I focus mainly on the early. But yeah, that is ultimately the problem of XCOM 2's late game enemies, is they're all so strong you don't want them to live. I think it's something I can look at in the future. Don't worry, it's not stuff I'm, I'm not aware of. My focus is still to eliminate Alpha Striking, and we're certainly not gonna Alpha Strike the whole pod. Even if we open up with an ambush, spending a lot of resources to get rid of the sector pod. I guess we're gonna shoot this purifier. This isn't really good though. This isn't really a good start for us. We're a rocket down, being flanked on our right side. Uh, it's really not good for us on a timed mission to try to get the VIP out here. I've got a really bad feeling about this one. I think we're gonna get into a bit of a slog here. I, uh, I'm quite concerned. This is my concerned face. What are you gonna do, Conrad? Oh my god, you're fucked. Like, actually. You're gonna come over to here. Alright. Great Depression, I'm gonna shoot here with you. 
And again. That is not good. Locked on. No luck today. No joy. Who's your friend, the shotgunner? That might come in handy. I feel like the shotgunner might need to come over here and party on this side. Party over here. It's finding the position that won't be flanked from both sides here. This, this, with my nose this far stuck out, that was the, the difficult part. I could come down here and shoot the shotgunner instead, but then Conrad has nowhere to go, so that's not really acceptable. If you come to here, you're gonna get your ass fucking shot. You could go sicko mode, but probably save that for the assassin showing up. Because it only lasts one turn. Probably just gonna come to here. I'm on the move. Seven, seven, eleven. Go on then. Not good. Missed. Grapple. Grappling. Maybe Wilson can dash hard and kind of try to save this right flank. If there was fucking cover, I wanted to move to over here. Who's got the teamwork of you? It's the shotgunner, so no. I should have done the other way around. I should have used the shotgunner's teamwork to secure this flank before it fell. But instead, I have not done that. I think if you go here, no one's going to be able to get line of sight on you from over here, but I'm not sure. Is there like pipes and shit you can climb up over here? I don't think so. So you could come over here, but then you can't shoot. Like, best you can do is come to here, I feel. Or take half cover, but I, I obviously don't want to take half cover. That would suck. Especially in a rave suit. But I'm just going to go to here. I don't think you can get flanked from there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. No, not unless Stunlancers can move 11 now. You shouldn't be flanked there. If I move to there, is that going to reveal the Mutant Elite? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, maybe? Ooh, that's fucking difficult, isn't it? You can't go in there because we blew it up. I got a bad feeling about that Elite Pod moving up on me. But this resistance fighter is just going to straight die otherwise. It's just straight dead. He's fucked. Should have brought the spark down for him. I think I'm just going to go here. I hope it's worth it. Me too. This could be really bad. Starting off of the heavy cover hits. This could be a really bad looking mission. We've got to secure this right flank quickly. And really think about pulling back. Taking damage. Spark needs to tank. This is really good. Getting a bit of evasion tanking up the roof is really nice. Fuck is doing a great job on this right flank. Whoa. Whoa. These guys are always going to activate, of course. But I think thanks to that gorilla fighter, they're going to activate this turn, not next. Oh my god, Archons. Oh my god, Archons, no. Assassinate showing up, though, so that is good. Maybe the wild hunt's fucking broken. Maybe by a Chosen more likely to show up, it means Chosen never show up. Mm. 
It worked last mission, but this mission... My sneaky strats might be getting me in more trouble than they were worth than fighting one pot at a time. I need to consider this for next time. That was close. I think some movement's going to be really important here. But where and what? Oh my god, look at this. Horrendous. Well, the gorilla's still alive. We only took one hit that turn. Now, one thing, for sh one thing is for sure. We need to secure this right side if we have any hope in this fight. The assassin not showing up makes this a lot more tenable as well. So I think Wilson's going to come over here and just rapid fire. What was there like? That's this whole pod here. Was this the pod I saw before? Or was there an officer? Is there going to be another pod over here, do you think? So I think Wilson's going to come over here, rapid fire. Uh, we're going to pull back from here, I think, a bit. Or even if we just anchor, even if this side just holds, some people need to go right. And what we need to do is come around on the right side and come in back through the building as they push towards me. Um, I don't think we have much else. That Archon is gonna pinions me. How far can it pinions from? That Archon's gonna fucking pinions. And I'm not looking forward to it. Elastic defense? Yeah, yeah. Elastic defense time. Yeah, I wish I could use that fake rocket, but it's not a real rocket, and we have to remember that. Is this an L-shaped engagement of Advent in the L? Not yet. Right now, this is line versus line. We want to turn it into an L. Seems doable. That's what we're trying to do here. Rapid fire. Your rounds. You're definitely dead. And we're looking to reposition here. This is a good little reposition. Gets me out of the... Indigo's taking a hit here and gets Indigo out of the line of fire from that side. Moves them over and they can take a dead eye onto that Lancer. Nice little reposition there. I'd say it's somewhat predicated by the Spark being able to clear out this right side as well though. Would I rather punch or shoot? 9 to 13. 8 to 10. With Pierce. Probably rather punch. Over here. If I go here, I can even draw a little bit of fire onto the spark. Gotta be careful how much fire I draw, because there is a mutant elite that it'll shred me. I think at this juncture, it's okay to not draw too much fire over here. However, if the punch fails, it makes this guy impossible to kill. If I go here, if I go here, I can still flank him. Does that make sense? He's still flanked, so I can suppress him. So I probably want to go here and just be like, ah, I mean, probably, you know, the line of sides will probably be fine. It'll probably be okay. Because, I mean, if these guys pull over here to try and get the spark, they're probably going to expose themselves to the left anyway. So I think this is the better punch here. D, 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 please no more pods on the right. Okay, hi! Ooh, just slam him into that wall. Gotta watch out, because this guy is gonna want the flank over here, and if I don't have a way to deal with that, this is a dangerous move to make. Like, I really want to make that move. Who's got the teamwork for you? Interesting. I might use your teamwork to reposition quickly to this position instead. Oh, then I can't see him. Fuck. Maybe I move here, dead eye, and then move again with teamwork. So I do need to kill motherfuckers on the right. The slower we take to take over the right side, the worse it is for us. Now, that was six. I think it was four up here, ten. Uh, it was like, what, five here, fifteen. And I put like 6, 20, 1, 22. If I've miscounted, maybe there's one more pod. Or the assassin, but she isn't showing up, so. I don't know, actually. Meanwhile, what is my base of fire going to do over here? Locked on sailing does not seem to persist between turns. Uh, I think you want to play a bit, uh, a bit defensively over here. Like, shoot, hunker, shoot, hunker over on this side. While we're getting in place on the right. Or maybe put out some suppression instead. Shoot, suppress, shoot, suppress. 
I haven't got any good area suppression, so maybe not. The sniper is not going to be doing that, though, because you really want to snipe that Archon. You really want to get some damage on that Archon. So maybe actually shoot, rather than going a bit too conservative. I could also instead just try to drop this guy and make the flank really easy on this side. I mean, I did say taking the right side helps a lot. If I take the right side, I kill these two. That could work out pretty well next turn. But I do need to get shots on the Archon. Like, it's going to start engaging me in melee and shit, you know? Also, Conrad Schwartz, you're so fucked. No offense, you're, you're fucking fucked. We got to shoot that guy. I'll tell you what. Let's do this first. So did I go right? I want to see the fruits of, fruits of this labor. Good to go. So that's an 82 with a 70 dead eye, uh, and I'm probably gonna dead eye it. This is the right time to dead eye. So we're gonna do a dead eye. Fucking dodge, I swear Target to god. Still standing. Every fucking day. Fucking dodge. Ugh. Strive to make your death useful, Conrad Schwartz. Maybe you can get inside here hold inside the bunker. I could also use Rabbit to try and clear the Overwatch for you. But then I'm not shooting, and I need to be shooting, my little buddy. We could also just hunker you in place. Because to flank him... No, they can flank him from here. This guy can flank him from there, unless I can suppress him. I move back to here. Do I have a flank on you? No, that line of sight is so sticky. What? You can get it from here, but you can't get it from here? Ah, oh, it'd be a great time for some low-profile captains right now. That would be a perfect maneuver there. A perfect move. What if I should still make it? Now that activates the mechs on the left quicker, though. I can suppress him with the gunner, though. So maybe we can just keep him pinned for another turn and just hunker him. So the question is, do I try for this trooper on the right? I think with the Lancer taking a while to kill, the answer is yes. Try for the trooper instead. Less guns coming in, the better. So I'm going to give it a go. Good. Good removal. Incredibly good shot. So now we don't need to use the teamwork on you. We can save that for another turn. And it's helping us clear this right flank. Hey, Irida has got a shotgun too. There is going to be a pivotal moment of this fight where we want to deploy the combat sims on Irida, but I don't know if it's yet, if that makes sense. However, I do think it's probably wise to move you on the right side. If you weren't there, I could uh, do some crazy shit, but I can't. But we want the shotgun on the right side, I think. Probably just bring you back here as safe as for now. You can't go there because it's on fucking fire, unfortunately. Uh, and there is going to get you flanked. But I think just go back to here and start working on it next turn. Or just come to here and shoot and rely on that high ground bonus. Yeah, I could see that, actually. That's a 55. I could see that because the high ground defensive bonus is real. It can hurt you. If you just come over to here, you could walk fire with the shotgun, couldn't you? Couldn't you? Yes, you could. That's 100% to hit. 4 to 6. Yeah, I'll take that. Nice. Good riddance. Guaranteed, baby. Walk fire is strong as fuck. How's the shotgun walk? 
Um... So... You shoot one pellet at a time. <laughs> Pump fast, that's right. What you do is why you use a two ammo. You shoot once to the left side of this of the target, once to the right, and the pellets just they bounce off into each other and it like it goes like the crab bombs in Cortex Command. It's crazy. Don't ask too many questions, is what I'm saying. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Caitlyn the Mad GI. Who had, who had lock on? You have a lock on. Great shot. Who's got executioner, anyone? I don't think we have that on this squad. All the, a lot of the lieutenants and all the captains aren't here is the big problem. I'm worried about not having the blue screen rounds ready for when the mechs come in from the left, but I'm going to play the odds and say it's not going to happen this turn, I think. Jesus, to no avail. To no fucking avail. Good, there we go. Hostile neutralized. We are just putting out fire here. I'm not even going to suppress this guy because I just need to put damage out, is what I think. Which I am not doing right now. Okay, don't worry, little resistance fighter. We're going to get you out of there. You're going to be A-OK, -okay, Sonny. Because we're going to suppress that guy. There's no point in area suppression, is there? Nope, we're just going to suppress that guy. And you're going to get the fuck out of there. Er, get the fuck out of there. Maybe hold the interior, like I said. I don't know what else you can really do that's useful, apart from being like an interior flank holder. Because you're not going to be any good on the line like this. Unless I send you in the right hard. But you can't really do that without being ending up in half cover. I think just being a body on the right for if they get past this line is the best you, you can be here, Little Resistance Fighter. Location confirmed. Yeah, popping it so I hopefully don't activate the mech pod. Right, he's in there, no one can see him yet. Do I want to Overwatch or want to move? I want to get more... I want to get more space here. So I'm going to take this rare opportunity to move back, I think. Because I want to space out a bit more before the pinions come. Alright, hit the spark. That's good. That's what it's for. Comes Archon here, comes Archon. No, I hate you so much. This move is so bullshit. So we gotta dash away from that shit. Oh man, and they're flanking themselves too. It's like they know. I guess they do. Sorry, I didn't know you were a stun lancer. That was a grazing fire, probably. You missed your 87 is what that is. And you got a grazing fire instead. Good job. It may be difficult for the sniper to get away from the pinions is what's worrying me. So, like, is that going to hit you? Like, I don't even know how pinions fucking works anymore. Manbull, can you get away from this shit? Uh, I might have to bring the spark back. For you, which I don't want to do, but I've kind of left myself no choice there. 
because you're just a little bit of mobility off getting out of the way, I think. 3x3, 1, 2... So it won't reach this guy, right? Because remember we said 3x3 last time and I feel like it was bigger. So it won't hit that guy, so it was wise to bring you back. This fucking thing is right here, too. Only Jason Tiles, okay. Meanwhile, on the fucking right... Let's finish clearing up this right side, Wilson. Whatever you say. We really need a secure flank here. Get him out of here. Not too shabby. Get him out of here. Oh, I could also half cover... Well, I can't fucking do it apparently, but I can... Yeah, I can half cover you back and run you into smoke. You got Nell now? I will soon, yes. I can smoke and I can shoot. And we can start playing this right side flank. So it was a 5x5 five five star. Does any, can anyone like look up that mission on the highway and how big it actually was in practice? Because I am really worried about him getting hit there and he doesn't need to be hit. Like I can just run. Also this fucking Archon is also going to just get to flank me because not only do you, does he get to do this, he also gets to fucking shoot me. This is probably the time for sicko mode overdrive serum I think. Maybe. It's 3 by 3 Okay, everyone says it's 3 by 3 It's adjacent tiles. Okay, everyone's saying that, so it must be true, right? So I can- if I could smoke that half cover, I can move back into it. I'm gonna have the dash, though. You don't have the dash, though, Magi, either. You are fucking flanked by an Archon! You got a Viper flank, though, which is good. Because if I smoke, then I can't shoot the Archon of the spot, which I really want to do. Maybe the first thing I should do is shoot the Archon and see if we can do any damage to it. Because that's going to inform the rest of my decision making. Because there's nowhere I can dash that gets away from this Archon being able to fuck my life up either. It's going to flank me no matter what. Really annoying. I hate Archons. I fucking hate Archons. It's not even a three tile, so I can't even do the smoke thing here. Unless I move. And then is the smoke club big enough to get Bofa? I don't think it is. What's the smoke distance? Huge smoke. It's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And that's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, I can smoke both those, so I can fall back to the half cover. It is big smoke, but I can't do that and engage. But I can do it. I guess you're just going to have to dash back. Citizen Joke says, Pinions is two tiles in cardinal directions and 21 tiles diagonally. Do you want to take another go at that? One tile diagonally, okay. Cool. So it's like a star. So it's two tiles like this. And how did you figure that out? So it's a 5x5 five five flat and then like that. How did you figure that out? What's your source? Before I make any moves here. 
watching an old video of mine. That's funny because that's exactly how I remember it being surprising me on the highway where I thought it was... Everyone said it was 3x3 three three and then it wasn't. So basically, fuck all of you. You all gaslit me for the second time. I've had enough. How could you? I really wish this shield wall ability was just 1 AP. Ooh, could I use you to give myself full cover? In the smoke? Maybe? Mm, only to one of you, though. However, if I shield wall there and I bring you back... I could dash you back to the full cover here. Hmm. And then draw some fire onto the exosuit. That could actually be smarter. The only thing that would make me not do that is if I get a bunch of damage on this Archon, which it really doesn't look like it's going to happen. I love it. My favorite. All right, it's gotta be over here. And yeah, okay, I have to suppress that guy. I think you can do it though, right, little gorilla? Yeah, little gorilla can do it. Good little gorilla. I'm still gonna fucking die because the Archon's just gonna melee someone, but I mean, hey. That's Archon's, I guess. When engaged in this style. You're gonna come here and you're gonna shield wall. I guess. Okay, so full back. Whoa. That ability was finally useful. So he's got nine shield for this turn and grants full cover to teammates for this turn only. Smart and AA guns? Yeah, I might have to. Smoke would still be fun over here, I think, but um I mean I think I still need smoke to stop them from dying to the Archon. But then counterpoint. The Archon is going to fucking have smoke. Can I flashbang the Archon? Or like all of them, perhaps? Like, what can we fucking do here? Jump up, dude. Actually, let's, let's figure out what we have. Is it? Oh, yeah, that's good, that's good, because then you can shock on him. Well, actually, you can't from there, but anyway. We'll work on it. I want to see if I can, like, do a ridiculous flashbang on the Archon. Because my options here are smoke, smoke rain onto everyone, which I don't think smoke stops crits in this. XCOM 2. I can do a huge flashbang, which might be the way to stop the most damage, I think. It's just huge flashbangs over here onto all of them. While we try to deal with this fucking Archon, it's probably going to be our best bet. Huge old group banging, that's right. No heavy cover to move to to try and hit this Archon from a view. Uh, I mean, he's gonna come down afterwards, so we'll have a shot afterwards. So, probably just take a couple shots over here for right now. Better shot. Ugh, I'm hit. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a flashbang. It's the smartest thing I can do over here. Gets almost all of them, too. Gets all the ones who want to press, so that's good. Oh, I think I, I, think I can get them all? Yeah, I can get them all, nice. 
He's a flashbang over to here. Whoop, careful when the screen shakes it. Kind of throws off my perfect flashbang here. Definitely get that mute on Elite. Very good, the flashbang. Bring your ass back to here. Split them up. I'm gonna bring you over to here, Caitlin. Got it. Moving. Where else where can I get you to? You're gonna have to come back to here. Execution, and we also got a pistol shot here. Oh, mag pistols do so much damage now, too. I forgot because mag pistols got upgraded, too. So, pistols are insane as well. I forgot about that. So, we're probably just gonna do this. Sickening damage. Pistols are really good and huge accuracy because of coup de gras. Okay, well, that cover is just gone. That's bad if we were still there, but it's good in the sense that, like. The enemy can't take it, I guess. Like, I'm trying to look for positives here. I'm about to get like, meleeed by a fucking... <gasps> I'm not getting meleeed by an Archon. The best of times. The blurst of times. No one's dead to the Archon this turn. That Spark. Uh, doing a really good job of tanking there. Watch out, Resistance Fighter. The Muton Elites can still kill you. Oh, here comes another pod. No, that's... That's the guy who ran off. That's right. Okay, that flashbang was definitely the right choice. Alright, so we're holding the line as much as we can here on the left. And we're so simultaneously, it's kind of... Kind of plays into our strategy here. If you'd believe it. Oh, the cover stays until I do something, I guess. It's the shield that goes away after a turn. Um, what's interesting is... That was our first line of defense, right? Now, any good elastic defense requires we start falling back to buy more time for the flanking element, which has kind of got tied up helping with the Archon right now, unfortunately. So it's good we're buying time. Uh, so I guess it was a good time to fall back anyway and draw them, draw them out even further. Because now they're not going to have any heavy cover against me either, except for that spot. Yeah, they got a couple of spots, actually. So basically, it's like, we plan to do that. Planned. Just falling back like, oh, I think it's time to go. But uh, unfortunately, we're up against the edge of the map, so we don't have a lot of elasticity here either. Salute resistance fighter. Resistance fighter is fine. Don't you worry about him. Okay, the Archon is not flying at the moment. Oh wait, that's not how XCOM 2 works. <laughs> the Archon... I don't know, seems to be easier to hit for some reason, which isn't that. Mm, we're running out of heavy cover over here though. Smoke would probably be good here. Smoke and then shooting the Archon. Smoke on all our half cover. And then shooting the Archon, I think, would be good. Can I get it on both? I can get it on both. So I can smoke right there. We can hold with the smoke. Sniper can move back into half cover. Toot, toot, toot. Okay, so that's really good. I don't, do I have the ammo for a grazing fire here? Wait. Oh, cyclic fire has a cooldown? Are you cereal? I fucking know what it is. Hang on, I gotta fix something. The Long War perk pack had a little, like, update, and it fucking updated all their co configs, and now Cyclic Fire- God damn it, hang on, I gotta fix that, give me a second. That's annoying. I gotta fix that before I forget. That's fucking annoying! Why do mods have to update? Yeah, I'm gonna have to play it as it lays, but I'm just fixing it now before I forget next next mission. Ugh. I hate when I... I thought I had more of my iron eyes backed up properly. Cyclic. Cyclic fire. Shots. Cyclic fire cooldown five turns. There it is. <sighs> Fucking hell. A malice 15. It was always 15, right? Three shots, three ammo. I think the rest was normal. I wish you could just make mods not update. Okay, anyway. 
I thought I updated all that shit. I guess instead of both of barrels might be in store. I wish I could go up closer for that. But I think this is probably a good time to bow for barrels. It's that or do like a bunch of area suppression over here. Which would also be fine, but... Uh, I don't know, I think... I think this would be better. Both barrels for you, you bastard. Fuck off. Only Wingdom. Maybe now is sicko mode time for the shotgun, by the way. I get a flank on a muton if I do. Who's overwatching? That guy. I hate Archons. Everyone hates Archons. Find me someone who doesn't hate Icons, and I'll say you're lying. Come back here. I'm trusting you here. I need to get Executioner going on. Pistols are good, don't forget, here. So we got one shot, and I could totally do a pistol here if I need it. Do I don't think I will? The hell you mean you can't see the Archon? I fucking hate this game. I don't know why I play this game. I hate it. I hate this game. What am I doing playing this game? Good shot. I mean, fucking dodge. You such, such a son of a bitch. Fucking such a son of a bitch. Dodge this, why don't you? Fucking dodge this. He did it. He dodged it, folks. He got me. Can you at least see it like I planned you would? Yes. But I want you to flank, so let's see if we don't use you. And you can't even see it. You can't even see it, which is hilarious. So it has to be you. It has to be this guy. Thank you. Target still standing. Oh my god. Oh my god. X-ray neutralized. How much fucking dodge do you have? No, I'm looking this up. It's just like the fucking lancers. How much dodge do you think you have? Archon. Archon. 25% dodge. Yeah, no, I believe it. Need to reload. Yeah, it makes sense to me. Fucking dodge, mate. I'm gonna be out of ammo, unfortunately. I got a 40 on you if I don't use my full length rifle there, though. Four to six. Not good enough. Can you hit him a few minutes to the left? Nope! You can if you go to there. Which I guess you should do. I'm just worried there's gonna be mechs over there and I'm gonna regret this. That would be ludicrous. That won't happen. It's not bait. Nice shot. Well done. That's it. Are willing him down here? But I do hold that the time of sicko mode is nigh. Now I could smoke rain on the left. Or I could just motherfucking move up and like do some blinding fire horse shit. Can I get a flank? Oh yeah, that's it. I'm just flanking the, the mutant elite. I'm just gonna flank the motherfucker. Rather than worrying about any of that bullshit. Who's overwatching? You're getting overwatched by a trooper. Fuck it, that's fine. Unless I can draw it already. Can you suppress that guy? 
No, you can only see the elite. Why is the elite in a hamster ball? Who knows, honestly, who knows? Okay, I'm just gonna tank the, the tank shot the spark. And I'm going in! On my way. No smoke. Ow. Now is the hour for decisive action. That's my belief. Good shot. So no smoke? No smoke. We are not doing smoke. I repeat. Moving. Put him in the L. I don't want to wait another turn when they're all undisoriented. 46. Not very good shot, is it? I'm gonna have to hear I get a better shot. I think I'll just take two instead if that happens. Do you have AP rounds? No. So that's gonna have to crit too. Pistol might be better with Coudi Gras. Yeah, but. Hmm, actually. 7 11. Or I could take two 89%. That's three to five with the armor. If it crits, you could potentially do five. Both times. I mean, it could work. I'm not saying it wouldn't work. I just don't think it has the damage that we need. I think taking two shotgun shots might be better. Just hit. Yeah, just hit. Now I can take a pistol if I can't hit him with anyone else. Now the pistol would do it. Quite easily. Quite happily. I think I'll just do the teamwork and I'll just do that. Because that elite needs to die. You have the power. So, Grimace says, hi, I just got here to beagle kill me. You're a ghost. 99 problems and a muton ain't one. Hit me. And this is what I mean when people are like, Oh, you know, aren't we already snowballing because we haven't wiped in a while? It's like, I mean, imagine this mission, but I don't have plus two damage on all my mag weapons. <laughs> Hard pass. Okay, you can come up to here. I can handle that. Gonna reload on you. Reel it on you. And they're gonna be coming in. I'm ready. Um, Conrad, just like... <laughs> just... Just shut it. <laughs> Honestly, just shut it. Rock and roll. Shut it and reload. Oh no, grenades! Ah! Glass padding though. Glass padding on the spark. Shredded some of my armor though, it's not good. Sparks do not need their armor shredded right now. I'm thinking a really nice blinding fire on the right side of them this, this turn. It's good, a lot of the bulk here is shield bearers and purifiers too. They're gonna be busy smoking and smoking and pistoling. Shields ran out though, that's good timing to go on the offensive. Why do we have a guy with a non-buff weapon? Who? The resistance fighter. Oh my god, look at them blinding fires right there. How far is it? 12 tiles with a blinding fire? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 
Okay, so from here, it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, 10, 11, 12. Might just barely get that purifier as well. Probably better to just blinding fire. Hmm. Can I get these two, do you think? I reckon the, the coin's gonna be too narrow. Might blow up my resistance fighter too, you gotta be careful. I'd rather just go like here. Maybe I can even try to hit this guy too. Yeah, 84. Maybe just try to do this. And I can flank the shield bearer with you anyway. And that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So yeah, come to here and just shoot these two, I guess. Where's that? A lot of pistol overwatch. Watch the Viper too. Can we hit the Viper first? So there's less overwatch for the Spark to tank here. Would be nice. Uh, kind of not really. I can do a bunch of area suppression. Oh, fuck it. I mean, it's pistols. You'll be able to tank it. I think the new Highlander change just came in where if it doesn't do any damage, it doesn't automatically deal one of the Spark anymore too. So let's just see. So yeah, go there. The shotgunner is going to use you as cover. Moving to position. That's going to hurt. No, it's not. Alright, we're fine. Taking fire over here. Over here. Yeah, just, just don't hit me. All my good rolls <laughs> go into the spark evasion, apparently. So we're going to blinding fire these two. I love you, Spark. I love mechanized warfare so much. Now the shotgun's gonna come over. Headed there now. Some damage there. Hard target, minimal damage. You need some rapid fire. Rapid fire! Spin those barrels! Yes, run, civilians. Run from the ghost. Fucking dead. SMG some good shit now in the late game. Once you get the AP rounds or the tracer rounds. You know, I mean, the plus two damage obviously helps too. But, like, once we get, like, higher aim. As long as it just stops fucking missing, the SMG is good. If it just doesn't miss, it's a good gun, right? <laughs> All right, and slowly this firefight is developing just as like we drew it up. Gotta remember though, there's another pot out there. How many have we fought? Let's get a head count. What was it, like six over here? Six, like five in the secto pod. Eleven. There's like six in the alien pod. It's like 17. There was like four. I reckon that's the last pod. So I reckon we're good here. Can you do that bullshit again? No, one turn off shield wall again. Just keep holding. You guys don't have to do anything crazy over here. All you have to do is just keep holding on this side. You don't have to go nuts. So at this point, probably just some suppression is, uh, you know, a fine move. They're gonna run, though, because they're flanked. This guy isn't, so you can probably suppress him. I don't know. Like, maybe shooting and reloading the best bet here in case the mech does show up. Oh, he's still full cover even though he's shot? That's dope. Okay, that ability rules. What the fuck? Is that intended? I guess until you move, but, you could, but you're allowed to shoot? Who knew? Who knew, folks? I didn't know. Who knew? That is pretty cool. Let's... I don't know if I trust that. I guess. I guess that's legit.
31 to hit. Probably just reload instead. Yeah, I am pretty impressed with the AI as well, Yevrik. It's doing a decent job. Not a great job, but it's doing a decent job. Probably gonna suppress you as well, in case you try to run. I kinda wanna run Conrad away, because I got this really bad feeling like Conrad's... Like the purifier's gonna explode. And then Conrad's gonna be stuck there. You know what I mean? Not sure about that. I need to reload on you. If you say so. Get back to here. Okay. I'm gonna leg it back here of AK man. Now we can do a little suppression over here on you. The pendulum is swinging back the other way, so I feel good about doing some suppression now. Whereas before it was like, no, I need damage. I can't afford to suppress right now. You know what I mean? We really want to get a rep hair on that spark, though. Viper's moving over. Look out. That does literally nothing, because I love medkits. Ooh, almost. He's charging us. Look out. He's coming! He's gonna throw a fire grenade on these two for sure, right? No. Fire. Okay. There's heavy fire in this zone. I think he would have gone in there and got Conrad. I think I picked a good time for Conrad to fall back. Yeah, because I wonder if the AI can be taught how to use bounty and suppressor fire or watch that would spice it up. I doubt it. I'd love it, but I doubt it. I think the AI in XCOM 2 especially very much works on a sort of... Uh, this sort of... This mode of like... Okay, I do my thing, and then other aliens take their AI based on the context that has been created by that action, but they don't plan things together. It's not like, I'll bound, I'll suppress, you bound. I don't think they think like that. Oh baby, let's uh, let's do some me mechanized warfare because you know I get horny for mechanized warfare. I'm on the move. You know I get super fucking horny for mechanized warfare. Let's go. I'm going. Come here, shotgun. Good copy. Moving on target. Let's see. Nice shot. That armor's tough. Deep main enemy would just stop every time. I'd love to see it though, right? I'd love to see it. I hope I live long enough to fight a truly, Yo, a truly awake XCOM AI, right? That'd be amazing. That's my that's my destiny to live long enough to be outdone by the AI at XCOM. Enemies down. I need ammo here. Okay, I <laughs> yeah. All right, let's just finish this guy off. However you can. Lock on. Modern air combat. I think it was a pretty good firefight. We started out like just everyone kind of like here. We had some people up here like as the tip of the spear. They were definitely not in a good position. And we fell back. Took that right side. And I, I know the new ever gun meme. But the SMG was really pivotal there with the Wraith suit. To, um, to be able to take that right flank so heavily. Just run up. Hey Lancer. Rapid fire. You're fucking dead. See you later. 100%. 100%. Um, the spark as well. 
I do like, you know, as much as I'm not really balancing late game very, very strictly, because I'm like, ah, you know, I'll figure it out for campaign two, you know, you, you're kind of getting a lot of cause and effect at this point from your early game. It is interesting to see how the late game is changing compared to the early game in the way I want it to, where early game is much more just classic kind of, you suppress everyone, a lot of shooting. Uh, and late game, it's a lot more dynamic because you have the sparks, you, have the, you know, you can get to the wraith suit and the spider suits. You've got better SMGs, you've got better aim to make the SMG work better. Uh, you know, the rabbits give me extra mobility as well. It's interesting, you know, you've got the, the rockets and you're like firing off against sector pods and shit. It's very interesting. We definitely took on more enemies than I thought I could. I definitely didn't ha I wasn't confident to take on that many at once. With the sector pod. If the assassin had shown up, I think it would have been a real bad time. But that was a good fight. I liked that fight. That was fun. Didn't even use any medkits. There you go. Now we're going to start moving up. Yeah, sparks helped a lot. Sparks bring so much. No, it's not over. That's true. It's not over. I need to reload. Zabate. You need those mag, uh, not mag, um, not mag, uh, 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 uh. You need those blue screen rounds up front. Great Depression. I'm ready. Reload. Now we'll start coming over. Already there. Assault sniper. Ah. I'm trusting you here. That. Good to go. Yeah, Archon definitely could have killed someone. We got lucky there. Come get some. We got lucky at one of the shoot the spark. Digging in. Very lucky. Kind of gonna get a move on here though. I feel like the thing to do is get that repair onto the spark quickly. Probably, probably reload turn, and then repair it at the start of next turn. Okay, so let's get towards the... The objective. Get ready for that shit. Seems doable. Let's... Where do I want to put you for... I guess I can put you to here. If you say so. I want to reload you because I need to get the spark repaired so I can just very confidently blitz through the rest of contact. So next turn we're going to repair you. I'm going to reload you this turn because you need to reload anyway. Um, Iridar needs to reload. Moving to designated position. I don't want to run out of turns here, obviously. We're just going to be doing... These guys shouldn't be coming right, actually. These guys should be going left. I was looking at that, I was like, should I go left? Oh, half cover. But actually, as I look at it, how this fight's going to play out, you got the pod still there in that backside. You're going to want this pod... Uh, sorry, this pod. This half of my force is going to grab the VIP. Now what are you going to do? You're going to bring these guys over and move all the way around to the right? No, you're going to have your, your flanking element on the left now. So now the base of fire is going to shift to become the flanking element. The flanking element's going to become the base of fire as we push in. So actually, you guys should be pushing on the left right now. Maybe not right now. <laughs> it's a small pod. If I accidentally activate it, I can deal with it. I think. Okay, it's all working out. But yeah, you guys actually want to start moving on the right, I just realized. Let's do this. I'm a fool. There's still two pods? I think it's only one, right? Moving to position. Maybe I finally should install the enemy counting mod for me. With the way, with the depth that Warfare is getting to in XCOM 2 of this mod set, I think that whole thing from Long War 1, my preference to like, be like, I want to count on myself, it's the panic of it. I think I can throw that out the window at this point. I wouldn't mind just having the soldiers like, be like, fucking report, this is how many we've killed, sir. I think I might take it at this point. Might take the help. Honest. No need to ask twice. I'm on it. Overwatch. Workman says, hey guys, what did I miss? You missed a real interesting little firefight. And you can see here the Well. The aftermath of it. I'm ready. 
Locked and loaded. Don't worry, we still got some enemies left out there. Double time. I should get a heal onto Indigo as well. Come get some. Moving to Overwatch. Reload complete. Yeah, sparks are just so important. As it should be, I think. It's like... I definitely couldn't do a late game about sparks at this point, I think. But as it should be, you know, as the aliens, as Advent progresses, they get heavy mechs and they get gatekeepers and sectopods and shit, so I get sparks. Warfare changes for both of us. Let me go sneak in and uh, see what's going on over here. Whatever you say. Hey, what's up? Status confirmed. VIP is in tow. Proceed to the extraction point. <laughs> Cox is just like, holy shit! What is that outfit you've got on? They took the exosuit armor off you, but they left you in the exosuit doughboy suit underlay, I guess. Great outfit there. Oh, the back's open. Shit. I guess the door's automatically open. I actually don't want that. Thank you. Can I not... Ha can it not be that way? Please? <laughs> I actually don't want that right now. <laughs> I'd like the doors to be closed for this turn. Let's get that repair going. That should, uh... Fix that, that armor right back up and give us about five health back. Four. Four, okay. We really need that Spectre Autopsy for the better med kits, I think. On my way. Better repair kits, I mean. I'm really worried now. Can I just go up there and close the doors, hopefully? I'm really worried. I'm going to activate that other pod and then they're going to just fucking shoot me in here like a dog. I'm actually, I'm sweating now. I'm really worried about that. I guess that'll be okay. But I mean, if they haven't activated all these other turns, they probably won't activate this turn, right? Right? Here I come. Closing on target position now. I'm gonna regret that move. I mean, it'll be a, it'll be a lesson learned, I guess. Worst case. Heading to that location. Ah, shit! I should have healed Indigo. I still can actually come here. Copy that. Two tile heal. There you go. Boom. Easy now, soldier. Wait, did you just do it yourself? No, you. <laughs> no, you didn't. Okay. Maybe I should smoke over here just in case. Just in, just in worst case. over here just in case you know just in case I'm probably not gonna use that smoke anyway right what if smoke draws advent oh god oh god fuck fuck you're right god damn it it makes noise you're right don't do it shit I'm on it just I mean they haven't come over here the whole time just hunker I'm sure it'll be fine And you don't hunker, you Overwatch Wilson, because you got to protect the VIP. Wait, are the doors shut? No, they're not. you got to protect the VIP. On Overwatch. Sorry I'm to say. Peeled. Fucking auto-opening doors. Scanning. Stupid technology. Eyes peeled, Commander. Got it covered. I'm sure it'll be fine, right? Ten four. Got it covered. Oh my god, no! This is the one thing we didn't want to happen. Oh my god, no, why? 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 Oh god, please, please come towards my main squad. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Jake. Oh shit, reinforcements. We're picking up an enemy transport inbound on your current position. 
Yeah, hi, it's called Counter-Strike and you're about to love it. Uh, I need to kill these guys though. Ah, I'm not in range. With half of this squad. I am with the other half though. Can you go up? I really want to just dash the spark over here and just be a cunt, but I think instead I gotta worry about what's actually in front of me here. Which means moving up and blinding fire. It's gonna hurt. That's affirmative. But that's its job, to get hurt. Nice! You are so good at dodging, wow. Hello, boys! What the fuck is that electricity? Oh, it's the post processing from the evac zone. Do some damage right there. Right there, right there. I can get Caparition, Mr. Bob Caparition over here. Sniper. What? What you see, Mambo? Nice shot. Not quite good enough, but nice shot. Don't forget really SMG here. The no other gun. Live and in the flesh. Take a shot of you. Dropped him. Dropped him. Congratulations on your promotion. Corporal Christian Indigo Aura unlocked rank Corporal. I don't think that's quite right. But sure. Tell Jen Happy Mother's Day. But she's not a mother. Except to our pets. What? We don't have a we don't have a human child. How disgusting! Can I flank that dude? Ooh, almost. Can almost flank that dude, but not quite. You're gonna come over here and you're gonna kill all of these guys, by the way. Got it. Wait, it doesn't. No, it does work on that turn. That's the turn it works on. That's right. Damn trike. Have to make a bunch of reinforcements. I already used this action. It's 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 already already set in stone what the mech's doing. I'm gonna run Bob up. Affirmative. I gotta think about getting rid of the reinforcements too, so you guys probably wanna start coming over as well. Will do. Makes a little noise. Oh shit, there's another dude over here, I forgot. Damn, I forgot about that. Well, not forgot, I just didn't realize. Whoops. Wait, is that another pop? No, it's not. Okay. Whew. Dode says, I like to imagine Beagle dreams about X coming in sleep and Gemma has to endure the night terrors. I know you think you're making a funny joke, but that literally, yes. Correct. Heat ammo, anyone? I 
I think I can close this door no here. Problem, boss. Nope, that sucks. Shit, there are no doors anymore. Wow, that is not good. Oh, apparently the doors are closed? What? What is going on? But I can shoot through them. What? So the doors are closed, but I can shoot out of them. What happens if I shoot? Will it open them and fuck me? Of course you can't, it's a prison truck from the inside. I mean, I, I guess, yeah. I guess that makes sense. Okay, fair enough. Rave suit step through the door. That bug makes perfect sense considering. All right, well, you can't get shot through there. I guess that's good. Though apparently if you move to there, you can be seen. I don't, I don't fucking know. Just come to here and... Hunker, I guess. Not really super comfortable with that, but we'll see how it goes. Fence goes whap now. Whap. Like an angry little duck. Whap. Roger that. Express. Locking down area. Hunker. As long as the CCS doesn't like, I don't know, miss and hit the truck and blow up the VIP or something, I think we're okay. What are we looking at? Oh, that's a lot, actually. I should have had the robot over here, but I couldn't kill both the mechs if I did that. Hi. Holy shit. Hello. It hit the the been on the moon. Oh god. Oh my. Right in your butt. Okay, well we got some damage on him. Shit, he's on my fucking roof. Ah! I don't like it. Hostile fire at my position. Where did the purifier go? Over there, okay, he's not gonna blow the van up, that's good. <laughs> you kill the purifier. You kill this guy. Let's get some blinding fire going. On, uh, you too. I don't know who's gonna get that guy. Can anyone get upstairs? Anybody? Anybody? Have you seen this? Have you heard about this? we have time for this? Yeah, we have seven turns. We got plenty of time. Easy peasy. VIP is definitely stuck. I'll just open the doors from the outside. It's fine. You could go out there and get him as well. Where can you go? Ooh, I've got a plan. I've got a plan. I'm gonna follow my dreams. Going up. Ooh. Impressed yet? Oh my god, I am. I so am. 
Ghosts are scary. I'm afraid of ghosts. Okay, we gotta kill this mech too. Hang on, hang on. So, I'm probably gonna dead eye the mech. Yeah, I'm probably gonna dead eye the mech. Probably wait till it gets a bit lower, wouldn't you? No, because you might be able to kill it yourself. You're probably not gonna kill it yourself. Let's shoot the shield bearer. Pretty good damage. Still up. I can blinding fire Bofa. You kill him. You kill him. With a pistol. But then the purifier gets me. Maybe I just have to tank some purifier fire. Big's ammo. I got ammo. I got ammo, baby. It's all good. I got all the ammo I need. Oh, I can cyclic fire the, mo the mech too. That'd be nice. Have you got enough suppression for these two without the, the me? I think so. I know so. Okay. That's good. So you're going to cyclic fire. It's all cool, man. You're going to cyclic fire the heavy mech. Great shots. Keep it up. Proud of you. Maybe you can be able to get the purifier now, I don't know. That mech's pretty free, actually. Bang. Wait, no, the armor. Not bang. Okay, you can bang, Maggio. I allow it. Watch over there. Bang. Boom. I love that noise. Boom. It's dead. It has to be dead. Where is it? You like point for this mission? It's right here. It's right next to us. It's no problem. Kaim in here. No problems. I guess you're going to sniper. I mean, sorry, rapid fire him. Good shooting. You know that was good. That was good. Hey. Ork. That was so good. I want to get some suppression on these guys. On the left side. No one else can get this guy, right? So you're going to be doing it. Unless you reload your CCS. Which isn't really a game I want to play. Yeah, I don't really want to do that. So, come here, Iridar. I don't want to get too close to the VIP either, or you'll get, you might get grenaded. Fire grenaded. Which would really suck. So I'll probably just bring you here instead, so you kind of spread out. Understood. Moving out. Bye. Target eliminated. Someone's gonna finish this mech for me. If it's not the spark, that'd be cool because then I can do other shit. So I move you to here, suppress. You can suppress him right now. You suppress the shield bearer. Okay, so let's do it. Let's get it set up. Let's get it going. Let's get it crack a lacking. Civilians, apparently. I 
Okay, so that means that you, Bob Caparition, Mr. Bob Caparition, you come around here and you can shoot the spark. Orders confirmed. On the move. Great damage. Well done. Target down. Again, that extra damage. We basically have plasma assault rifles. This is making things a lot easier. Now I'd like to see if I can get this purifier. That would be very, very nice. Very, very nice. I'm trusting you here. That'd be so cool. Maybe. Something's happening over there. Spock's pretty fucking accurate, man. I got 67 on him. Oh, the tracer rounds, that's right. Let's just go tracer rounds him. Affirmative, Commander. Can't bind if I nuke the car, unfortunately, because we haven't got the ammo, but let's see if this hits. Ooh, it does something. But he's still alive. That purifier is gonna be alive this turn, unfortunately. Get some suppression out. Copy that. Suppressing target. And the other one. Sit down. Okay, reload. Just gotta, just gotta hold on there. Cox.com. Just gotta, just gotta chill. You'll be good, you'll be fine. Nice crit overwatch there. Can do some... <laughs> He's gonna run the overwatch to heal himself. Me hurt. Yeah, I mean, that, that'll happen. That'll definitely happen. Watch out for the van blowing up. Here we are, very on fire. Not just a little on fire, folks, very on fire. Oh my god, the mobility is insane. Oh my god. It's not fair, Jimmy. Let me see what I can do here. You're expressing back at me, right back at me. Some shots, 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 everybody wouldn't be a terrible idea here, I don't think. I'd cyclic fire him, but you know, it's on a cooldown, which it really shouldn't be. So that makes that a uh, considerably less useful gun right now. Let's see what you can do. Yeah, kill his ass. I like that. You have the ammo to rapid fire this purifier, by the way, right? Yeah, easy. Easy does it. Nice shooting. X-ray down. Ah. Adjusting aim. Ah. <gasps> and there it is. And there it is, folks. And there it is. Hello, bye bye. I love the ragdoll off the Spark mech weapons. Nice. The Spark plasmas, I mean. Alright, get him, you fucking creepy ghost. I can handle that. Nothing personal, kiddo. Cool. 
Oh god, the van's on fire. Get him out of there. Get him out of there. Get him out of the van. Wait, oh, he can just leave it now? Because we... I don't know what the fuck is going on with this van. Cool. Let's go. I don't know what's going on, but cool. <laughs> just hop out. Alright, let's uh, get rid of that burn. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Did anyone die this mission? No. No one's dead. Hunker down. Go to my fan. I gotta undo my buttons. I'm getting hot under the collar. In a literal sense. I'm not getting horny. I'm just saying, like, in a literal sense. Uh, I'm going. I'm going. Ah. All right, let's keep it rolling and out here. I, I. Yeah, well, I did say I was horny for mechanized warfare, but you know, that's different. Okay. Rolling out. Beagle is a liar sometimes. Let's do this. God, you are fast! Should be illegal how fast you are. In fact, it might be. Okay, let's get moving over here. Whee! Get some Overwatch set up. All right, I'll Cover that go. VIP and it is all... Almost over. Oh, we're going to have a suit. It just needed the suit. That's right. It's all it needed. Okay, I'll go. Just needed the suit. Move order confirmed. I am really glad the assassin didn't show up, though. I think this would have been a much more tragic mission go, go, go. if she had been involved in that first fight, don't you? Beat, beat. Much more tragic. Okay, I'll go. Go on, Irida. Location confirmed. And come on, Speedy McSpeedson. On the move. Run away from the van. Got it covered. Affirmative. Covering on nine. Got it covered. Scanning. See you later, man. Oh shit. <laughs> nice. Very cinematic escape. Where the hell is the... There we go. Let's go VIP. Okay, Congratulations, Cox. We got you back. VIP. To never be used because we can train sergeants now. But still. I mean, it's better than being in jail, right? I hope it's worth Conrad it. Shorts, you lived. Heading out. Great job. Thanks for the support. Your suppression was actually really pivotal in a couple of situations there. Thanks for that. Got it. Really helpful, honestly. Moving to position. Moving to position. I guess that'll be okay. And off we go. Rolling out. Oops, forgot about Z bait. Boop. Let's move on. Who do you rescue? Cox.com. You like the little flag pennants around the LZ? Yeah, that's, that's why we picked this spot, right? Let's go. Getting out of here. Just in time. Done. Heading home. Heading home. Just in time. Big squad. Back in the Oh, that. Interesting. He didn't get to free evac. That's something to note for when the timers get low. Mambo almost got time. left behind again. Is there a limit per turn, or is it because the squad's bigger than six, I wonder? That could have been bad if they, I'd left that a little bit later. Nice shot, man, Ball. Really nice. Really? What is going on there? Is 
This is a great picture, folks. I don't care who you are. Just let me be back for eternal. There you go. Didn't know that. What is it? Nine? No, it must have been. So we evac everyone in the same turn except for Manball. There was 10 of us plus the VIP, so I guess it's 10. 10 by 10. Good mission. Maybe that's what Nanime Kits can do. Maybe instead of Nanime Kits being like plus 4 health, maybe Nanime Kits can be plus 2 health over the 4 of the normal med kit, but you get 2 of them. Ah, Big just had a big brain idea to fix med kits. So then late game med kits, you're less pressured. The victory today is a minor footnote in history. A small bump on the path of salvation the elders have set forth for Maybe. Us. Maybe even just make it five. But just make the main thing being it's two of them. Write it down. I gotta write it down. There's been a few ideas people have given me. There was two other ideas people gave me that I didn't write down today because I hate to break the flow of the stream. I think the other one was, um... Whoop. I think the other one was, um... Shenanigans idea for... Prestige perks, and I forget what the first one was. I can't remember. If you had a great idea that you said to me today, and I went, "That's pretty good," um, do you discord it to me because I've already forgotten. E warfare? I don't know. Maybe it was Another e warfare. Success beyond all expectations. I'm continually impressed, Commander. Well, thank you, Tiger. Cox.com is back, stolen from us in Mag. It's returned, empowered. Another impressive effort, Commander. My expectations were high, and yet you have exceeded them. Thank you. All right, let me let me write those down real quick. Idea time, uh, which was nano med kit multiples and prestige perks that enhance existing perks slightly, and e warfare. Very nice. Flow of the stream. He spent 50 minutes on loadout and 50 minutes circling maps on landing. <laughs> Did I get tired of you obsessing over the green screen? No, it's just happening. It just seems to be happening. <laughs> that fucking mission. Um, so, did you have wound time off of that? Yeah, you got some serious wound time off of that. Off to the infirmary. I mean, the engineering bay. New orders, commander. Back you go. You mentioned grenades needed to change. Oh yeah, like that. I'm not gonna forget that. Don't worry, that's already planned. I'm just not doing it this campaign. I've said it before, but the way I intend to balance grenades is for them to have scatter like OG XCOM grenades, like rockets, but have a longer range and be more powerful. And the further you throw them, the worse the scatter gets. Because I think with damage, with explosives fall off from the center of the explosive, scatter is really important to balance those 100% into, like, I mean with scatter, if you throw a pinpoint a grenade onto someone, you're probably still going to catch them no matter what, because it's a bigger radius than the rocket, but, you know, it's the damage, it's having the pinpoint 100% damage. So I'd really like to see grenade scatter, I think, would balance grenades for me. Until then, I'm not really sure, because they're just so guaranteed, you know, it just kind of sucks. It's just like, oh, I'm going to hit that guy, oh, I'm going to kill him. Grenades need scatter. That's my opinion. Thoughts on some ways to give soldiers the ability to pierce enemy dodge? There has to be a counter to dodge. I will say that much because it's fucking annoying. <laughs> it's not even that imbalance. It's just annoying. Um, it would be nice if there was a counterplay to it apart from getting 100%. Yes, I agree. Let's promote the people who got promoted off that, by the way, so I don't forget. Caparition. Mr. Bob Caparition. Good for you. Cox.com. Up to Corporal, congrats. Welcome back. You didn't bring the exosuit back though, did you? You little shit. Promotion for Indigo. Uh, was there anyone else? Wilson! Lieutenant Wilson! Nice. Very nice. Very, very nice. Very cool, Everything Wilson. Very cool. Numbers. But can you carry BFGs? Fucking hell. Uh, I don't think there was anywhere else, was there? Nope. Okay. 
Mask for Wilson? Sure. While I remember, sure. But then I'm gonna take away over his eye patch or his sunglasses. I guess I'm gonna take away his sunglasses when he's in Wraith mode. If he ever gets in the Wraith suit ever again, which I'm not not convinced he might. Oop. Any plans to increase the health of the chosen monoliths? Haven't even thought about that yet. No, I'm not worried about it yet. There you go. Goose. One more mission? Let's see if we can fit another mission in. I'll try. What can I do for you, Commander? Maximum power consumption. How far are we outside? Seven days. Nice, nice, nice. Good, good, good. Good, good, golly good. Okay, back at it. Good job on the mission, though. Well done. Ooh, free soldier! You bet. You bet I'm gonna beeline for that. Free soldiers. High-ranking soldiers? Very good. Let's go spin gang warfare and then get the soldier. Yeah, I'll try to get in a third one, because the first one was, like, no combat. So I'll try. We'll see what it is. Ah! Commander, the aliens continue to make progress okay. on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll Fuck. need to move fast. That's what it is. I don't know about a base assault. 38 hours. We're going to wait 38 hours for the Reaper. We're going to have a squad. Kenan will be ready. I mean, our roster is shaped up pretty well. The Corporals have started surviving into Sergeants, and the Squaddies have started surviving into Corporals. I have a Spark ready. I guess we're gonna have to do a, a base attack. Let's try and make it very quick. It would be perfect. Um, so which base are we gonna hit? New Australia, right? Yeah. No ruler here. There's a Sectopod. 22 aliens. Berserker, Advanced Trooper, Muton Elite. Sectopod. Advent Shield Bearer. I gotta go to the bathroom. Advent Shield Bearer, Heavy Lancer, Heavy Mech. Huh. No officers. That's a pretty small list of aliens, honestly. I think mutons have been phased out at this point. Berserkers. That's, ne that's not necessarily bad. I think we go in there with 2 AT for the Sectopod, but we're planning for Reaper Cheese, ideally. We don't want to fight them. No timer though, so we can take our time. We can take a long time on that big map. We'll have to do some scouting. But yeah, this is the one we're gonna hit. I think, definitely. Another 9 Berserker pod, maybe. Let me just go to the bathroom, I'll be right back. Uh, and then don't let me forget when I get back from the bathroom, I'm gonna read my subs and dub before I go the whole day about doing them again. So I'll be right back.
just getting a quick snack, folks, before our base of salt. Hey, you like my pants, by the way? These are, you know, I showed you my jeans before. These are my nice comfy, nice comfy, you know, track suits. Very nice. Be right back. What was I rambling about? My nice pants. That's what I was rambling about. Okay, so let me just thank my subs and dubs before we go any further, because I don't want to leave it till the end of the day like I always do, even though I always do. So thank you very much to today. Dexwig for nine months, guessing your sub baby. Muke for 19 months. The real John Doe subscribed. It's real John Doe's first time here today, I believe. Anyone else here, first time watching the stream? Maybe you came from YouTube? Raise your hand. The shirt is gone. Oh, I took it off. I took it off a moment ago. It was getting too hot. First time. Shut up, Stormblast. Fuck you, because of Stormblast. He's ruined it for everyone now. Thank you, so salty salt. We subscribe for two months in a row. Iwino winner, subscribe for 26 months in a row. Devastator Zero, subscribe for 25 months in a row. And also donated $50 and says, Good morning, Commander. Just want to submit my monthly tithe for the consistently great entertainment. And again, to say that I'm really enjoying the current mod set. Keep up the great work as always, mate. Devastator Zero, thank you so very much. I really appreciate it, as I do every month. Kindness like clockwork is my tagline for you, Devastator. You're so very kind. And I'm really glad you're enjoying the mod set as well. I'm enjoying it a lot too, so I'm really glad you are. Thank you for that $50. It's super kind of you. Thank you so much, as always. Professor Membranes, subscribe for 18 months in a row. I'm old enough to vote for Teddy Bradford. Cathode Ray 2K, subscribed. Merdini, subscribe for 10 months in a row. Elf Ball Tower Zone is a great time. <laughs> Spezzy old trottle, 20 pennies, just to kill at 37 months, a year 15 months, Greta Maisie, now in a row sub, Mr. Killer, now in a row sub, guessing your sub babies, your sub twins, Hydra Chim, subscribed, Wright, subscribed for 28 months in a row, Ulfadeen for 14 months, This Really for 2 months, Comrade Cat 227 for 8 months, hey Comrade Cat, if you're still here, I'm so sorry I haven't, like, gone through your shit yet, I just haven't, I'm so sorry, I think about it like every, every week, Getson, subscribe for 3 months in a row, HM Girl Papuri, Subscribe for 46 months in a row. Thank you very much. Crown JB, a very generous tier 2 sub from Crown JB for 16 months in a row. Preemptive worried rip to my good friend the tyrant Contra Bassoon. <laughs> Thank you, Crown JB, for your tier 2 sub. Very much appreciate it. Kansas May, subscribe for 3 months in a row. Lakota Indian, 10 pennies. De Ava, rated the party of 7. Thank you again for that, De Ava. Um, Ice Snake Eyes for 2 months in a row. Everything Harrison Field for 12 months, guys, in your year of subbing. Estidro for 21 months in a row. Pepper, please. Resubscribed for 39 months in a row and gifted five community gift subs to Draka RC, DT Wolfwood, Solenya94, Chessmaster91, and Internet Kraken. Thank you, Pepper, please, for those five community gift subs. Very kind. Mr. Boo001 has subscribed for nine months in a row. Crescent your sub, baby. Manball6713, subscribed for 29 months in a row. Thank you, Manball. Ulane, subscribed for nine months. Crescent your sub, baby. A lot of sub babies today. What happened nine months ago? What did I start doing nine months ago? Thank you for your. Sub baby, Lene. Blackwing DMG, subscribed for 56 months in a row. Professor Membrane, gifted the sub to Manda of the Six. Thank you, Professor Membrane, very kind. Navaduck for 18 months in a row. Candle says hi, subscribed for six months. Megabert42 has subscribed for 10 months in a row. Strata0123 for seven months. Repo Jam for nine months, guessing your sub baby. Another one. Fiery Drake for 28 months in a row. And Azrae for 47 months in a row. Thank you very, very much, Azrae. September. Was September nine months ago? It's, uh, what? It's f September. Oh, God, I don't know how to count. September. Oh. October? November. December. January. February. March. April. May! Oh, you're right. It's this month. It's, it's the birthday of this month. Oh man, we fucking made a lot of sub babies nine months ago. I, this is gonna be the start of it. I see. Well, thank you guys very much for carrying those sub babies all the way to to May. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much for that. Very nice. I really appreciate it. The this month babies, folks. Have a have a hand for the this month babies. Don't actually. I, I 
I don't even like babies, but there you go. Alright, that's done. Let me just click all that. Okay. Huh. Now this looks interesting. I got a special request here from one of our donors. It reads, an intriguing offer for your listeners. I will triple the standard price for every Advent burger they can deliver to this location in the remote territories. Name's a bit scribbled. It's hard to read. Tegan, Tegan, Tilgan, Tigan. Guy's not winning any awards for penmanship, I'll tell you that. Burger! Give me burger! Send me burger. This is the picture of an avatar. What the hell? Hey, Bob. Looking good. Looking real cash. That's right. That's how they track the Avenger. Every campaign. It's canon. Okay. Yeah, I guess we're just getting the Reaper and then doing that base assault. So we're gonna wait 38 hours. So, just go do the facility lead for a little bit, I guess. Avenger plotting new course. Boop, 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 boop. How we go in there, Reaper? Ready! Oh, you didn't even tell me. Sure, whatever. Reaper's just... <laughs> First of memory, just eating burgers with Tigan. Oh, hey, Commander, what's up? You need me or something? Two, Australia. Hey, can I get a fucking uh, sectoid? I know what you want, Tigan. <laughs> Say it out loud. Burger. Okay. Reaper. Reaper, Rick and Watch Hunters. Who's your friend, Zebait? Zebait, you good for another one? Where are you, Zebait? Z -bait. Z -bait's good to go, okay. Z good to go, folks, that's good. Z -bait. why do I keep losing you? There you are. Bandon is ready in two hours. Uh, I guess we should wait then. For Van Dornicles. Uh Fine. Wait for Van Dorn. I'm gonna have my snack and wait for two minutes then in real time. So what do you guys want to talk about while we wait for two up to uh two minutes? I'm just gonna have my healthy snack here. Oh, that's good. Mm. Wait. Hey Whip, what's up? What is that? It's just a chicken tender dipped into a um an, an aioli dip from Domino's. Ah. Hmm. Favorite IRL burger joint? I don't like burgers. I don't have one. Ain't got none of them. Aioli? Yeah, it's like ranch. Mm -mm. Mm, that's good. You call yourself an American? I don't anymore. That joke stopped being funny to me lately. For reasons that no one could understand. Now I just make fun of the Americans.
How are we going, Vandor? Are we ready? Uh. Uh. That's fine, it gives me time to finish the second one. Tomahawk MVP says, Americans are so easy to make fun of, dot dot dot, ha, dot 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 dot, ha. Yeah, see. You know how I know Tomahawk's an American too? Because he's panting, he's out of breath. Just after making that one line. It's crazy. Vandorn, you can be ready now. I'm ready. Ah. <laughs> Are you ready, Vandorn? Are these EU LCS memes right now? My belly is big. My brain has delay. Yes, you guessed it. I'm from NA. Vandorn is ready. They just don't fucking tell you apparently anymore. Whatever happened to like letting the commander know? Okay. Is there anybody else I should wait for now? <laughs> no. Oh, evil Soli. Ooh, Evil Soli versus the Assassin, the ultimate battle. Hmm. Do you think the Templar would be useful against the Assassin? Who's she weak to? You could get Amplify. No, wait. You got Aftershock. Hmm. Skirmishers? Fuck. Why couldn't it be Templars? Yo, you could parry her though. It'd be sweet. You could stun her. You could command her. 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 Requesting your attention. Hey, thank you, Grand JB. Very kind. Five dollars for the third mission, Benny. Thank you very much. We haven't played it yet. It's like a Kickstarter. Don't send me the money until I'm done. Wait, that's the opposite of the Kickstarter. <laughs> but first, this is the biggest problem with the SMG is there's no Elder's Champion version. Being needs to make a fourth Elder's Champion of an SMG. It's a good point. Maybe I should bring you. Pretty sure she's parry proof. Parry. If the if the assassin tries to hit me and I've parried, she won't hit me because that's how parry works. That's what parry is. Prevent all damage from the next attack instead of moving. I think I might wait. Let's just see what the rest of my squad's gonna look like. So Reaper. Z bait. What if there was just a Chosen where, like, Rapboy can see across the whole map at once, and the SMG one can just see? <laughs> the SMG one can just, like, move across the entire map at once. And Dawn. The <laughs> fourth Chosen is just an SMG itself. No one's holding it, it's just an SMG ghost. Good idea. They're always stealthed. It's good ideas here, folks. We've got good ideas here. Okay, can we just like wait 12 hours for the Templar and I think this squad will look pretty good? And again, though, I might not want to have the Templar because I want the rockets for the Sectopod, but at some point I have to stop bringing three rockets just because I'm scared of sectopods. Right? I do have to do that eventually, don't I? 
Oh, you look like some you look like some kind of sky pirate now, Wilson. It's crazy. Let's equip the rest of them first, and then we'll see if I want to wait for the Templar or not. Cannon. Raising fire rabbits. You're like SMGing, yeah? We can give you close and burger signal, close and personal. Locked on probably works well with a rapid fire as well, to be honest. Dirty crit, though. Yum, yum. Let's try it. Wilson. Scourge of the skies. What do you want? Executioner locked on. Do executioner. Promotions are done. Is there any AP I want to spend on you? Nah. Ooh. Hey. I have a question about this. If someone else shoots the claymore, do you still get put in the shadow? So, think of it this way. I throw a claymore at someone, I do the objective, which unstealths me, and then someone else shoots the claymore. Does that work? It's a hell of an idea, right? Nah, sounds stupid. If the damage from the claymore gets to kill, it counts? Well, there you go, that's interesting. That is interesting. Very interesting. Borger. Z bait got the war suit. Good for you. Major Van Dorn. Let's give you a rifle, sir. Thank you for your service, Major Van Dorn. Major Soylent Van Dorn. Well, this is what I always wondered why they called that thing a Claymore. I always thought a Claymore was a sort of one-directional mine. It is. That, that is what a Claymore is, yes. But I don't think Jake Solomon knows or cares. If you're a Tracer Ram, let's go Tracer Ram so we can hit that fucking assassin. Burger. Everything by the numbers. You want a shotgun close to personal? You want a rapid uh, rapid fire close to personal? Probably rapid fire close to personal. Where's that SMG at? There it be. Oh, but Wilson wants to be a ghost too. Well, you don't get to be a ghost anymore, because Kennen's here to be a ghost now, Wilson. So take it off. Take it all off. Put your sports sunglasses back on. Although, on the other hand, Wilson can't take a fucking rocket, can he? Mm. You can take a shotgun. Fuck it. Burger. Blue skin rounds, tracer rounds, what do you want to do here? Probably tracer rounds. How's the stream been today? Not bad. Not bad so far, been fine, been fine. Wilson, I think Wilson has used every gun in the armory at this point. I don't think, he, actually I don't think he's used a, uh, a cannon. But I think other than that, he's used like every gun. He's used a lot of them. Mary, why have you come in my room? Come here. You gonna be on the stream? Come here. You want a little bit of chicken? Yeah, you do. Yeah? Come here. Come here. Come here. 
Come on. How do you know it's a trick? Come here. Fine, don't be on the stream. Sit. <laughs> just walks off. Fucking dumb. She literally shook her head at me like, and then walked off. Reflay. Okay, we get Mag Reflay. We get USB. Cool, cool, cool. Big cool. Yes, I think maybe Templar could be cool. Maybe this is cool. I get Tracer rounds? Yes. Yes, I get Tracer rounds. Good, good. I bring uh, Archer Launcher is good, but Heavy Support Launcher is fucking great. This shit is crazy, man. I like Flashbang. Okay. Templar or another person with Rocket Launcher. What is choice? Yeah. Mega rifle, mega rifle, mega rifle. I have four med kit. Okay. He's not many. Wait, I have no sniper. What in the fuck? Oh shit, no aggression. Very bad. Big fuck. Oh, I forgot to rebalance the the mag cannon cyclic fire too. Maybe just for this, maybe for this this mission only, I won't bring a mag cannon. I'll bring a sniper instead. I'll bring the Templar. The Dark Flygun says, "I feel like Spark should be allowed to equip two launchers, one for each shoulder, and one should be an AT launcher of some kind." I think Spark should have a 120 millimeter cannon. Why not? Can I get someone of aggression? Uh, Sergeant Gaza can be my new sniper. So we'll go walk fire aggression. Oh, well, I guess I gotta set the raffle. The raffle? Raffle up. Raffle? Start the raffle up, because we're going to be taking Gaza on this one. Thought you fixed the cycle focal. No, you have to restart the game for that. I guess we just want to take a, an MG on this one. It's fine, because the MG's going to be very useful against the Assassin anyway. Just this once. I have to go all out. What if the assassin's too strong and like the strat really is to just like gift a, gift a rookie to the assassin every time you see her? Like giving your first board to the hag in the swamp. Can you imagine? <laughs> Leave me alone assassin, take my rookie and go! Bum, 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 bum. Let's put a repair kit on you. Okay, I'm gonna draw that raffle. I'm gonna draw it. Azraith. Who has a picture of Thanos. So hopefully you do some snaps. Maybe I don't wait for the Templar. Maybe I just go with this. It would be really good to hit the Assassin every turn though. 100%. And then parry her. If I can get the Assassin on her own, the Templar would... Fuck her up. 
But who do I not bring then? Cannon? If I'm not bringing a mag cannon instead of bringing a Templar. Well, the problem here is I've got a straight rifleman in Van Dorn. Maybe Van Dorn brings a rocket instead and I don't bring one of these two. Can you bring a rocket, Mr. Van Dorn? Maybe I just bring a third rocket on you and I don't bring a Templar. <laughs> I'm just saying. Maybe that's an option too. Wait, I didn't change anything, I said. Whoop. It's a hard, hard decision there. When I want three rockets. You've probably just got to take two rockets and drop one of these guys. Bring lures? There's no lost on facilities. Don't be crazy. I think if I'm weighing up the options right now, I'm just going to go with this squad because I don't want to wait another 12 hours off the Avatar, the Avatar project. Maybe I'll just take three rockets instead. That's one, two, three med kits. I need to bring more than that. I need to bring a med kit on the SMG. Instead, I need more med kits. I think Assassin has blast shield. Yeah, I know. These are three for the sector pod. Battle scanners? No room. No room for battle scanners. As you just gave you, I'll go back to you just give me a sec. That's four med kits, one repair kit, one overdrive, three rocket launchers. Which will definitely get the sector pod. Reaper's here to do the job if we get fucked up anyway. Reaper's here to stealth it, but we have to bring a squad assuming we won't get the stealth it, of course. We have to assume that it won't necessarily go our way. I think we're good. She might get lucky again. She, yeah, she's very lucky. I wish I could fit a battle scanner, but I think it's more important to have the overdrive serum. So you can go hard on her. Okay, back to Geoscape. Save. Auto save. I didn't think about the other enemies. Last minute check, and I think we're good to go for our last mission of the day. Oh, like chassis. He looks real cannon. Yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. Claymore will help too. Claymore is very handy to have. Drink the water? I'll drink the water, yes. Oh, Ned Gook. Imagine a mod where the chosen opening cutscenes don't play and you get jumped by the assassin out of nowhere. Yeah, that, or like you get squad sight sniped by a rat boy, you didn't even know it was coming. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Just write one more idea I just remembered I had, and let's go. Which was... Right. Okay, let's go. Operation Hot Profit! That's me. That's Jamble here, the and me character.
Let's not fuck up, because that would be quite awkward at this point in the campaign. To lose a lot of shit. You just thought about sexy Jesus? No, I didn't. I was laughing at my own joke, because Jamble's playing like a... Like a prophecy cleric in a campaign we're playing uh, this week with someone else. <laughs> and I was just thinking about her character design, her character art, Operation Hot Prophet. <laughs> 